Goodness me, Jess. Look at that snow. We're going to have our work cut out for us today. Breakfast. Oh, Ralph. Look at that snowfall. Do you think you can clear it? Hey, aye, no problem. Nothing's too much for my snow plow. <laughs> By heck. Come on, Julian, eat up your breakfast. You don't want to be late for school. Yes, Mum. Hello. Oh, good morning, Jeff. Yes. Oh, right. Uh-huh. OK, then. I'll let him know. Yes. Bye now. Well, looks like you're having a snow day. A what? School's closed because of the snow, so you've got an extra day's holiday. Hooray! Can I try on my new super sledge? OK, but finish your breakfast first. Goodness me. That was a close one. Sorry, Pat. Be all right? Yes, no harm done. Oops, sorry, Jess. See you later, Pat. Bye, Alf. Come on, Jess. Don't want to be late for work. Have a good day, son. Be careful when you're sledging. Thanks, Dad. See you. Morning, Pat. Morning, Jess. Good morning, Mrs Goggins. What a day. I have never seen the snow so deep. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, here's the post all sorted. Oh, and I almost forgot. Oh! It's Alf's new ladder. Right. Will you be able to fit it into the van? Hmm, maybe I can strap it onto the roof. Cheerio, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Mr Pringle. Oh, me back. Hello, Julian. Do you want to come sledging, Charlie? Oh, oh yes. Can I, Dad? Why, of course you can, son. But mind, be careful of the frozen pond there. That ice is not safe, you know. Don't worry, Dad. We will. Bye, Mr Pringle. Bye, lads. Morning, Pat. Hot chocolate? Thanks, Nisha. That'd be lovely. Hello, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Here's your post. Thanks. Hello there, love. Have you got the bulbs? Aye. It's not really the weather for planting, is it? <laughs> not flower bulbs. Bulbs for the lamppost. One of them popped last week. We've been waiting for the new ones to arrive. Bit of a problem, though. I can't reach it. Hang on a minute. I might be able to help you there. Are you all right, Pat? Yes. Will this do? Hi. That's champion. <laughs> ah. There you go. Perfect. Thanks, Pat. Don't thank me. Thank Alf. It's his new ladder. Oh, uh, will he mind us borrowing it? I shouldn't think so. But I'd best get on and deliver it. See you later. Thanks for the hot chocolate. Bye, Bye Pat. Bye, Pat. I used to love sledging when I was a lad, Jess. 
I'd love to have a go now. I wonder if... Hi, Dad. Hello, Pa. Hello. 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 Can I have a go? Of course. Do you want to try my new super sledge? <laughs> I'd love to. It's got special aerodynamics, so you have to be Thanks, careful. Thanks, Julian. But I'm a bit of a whiz on a sledge. You never forget. It's like riding a... Whoa! Pat, can you do it again? No, I think that's enough sledging for one day. Ouch! Ooh. <laughs> Maybe you should stick to delivering letters, Dad. Yes, I think you're right. I'd best be off. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to stay away from the ice now. We will, Pat. Bye, Pat. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Hello there, Ted. Eh? Oops. Look out below! Oh, dear. Ooh. Hang on, Ted. My leg. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's no use. Real. What? I'm just going back to the van a minute, Ted. Ooh. I'll have you out in a jiffy. Don't go anywhere. Ooh. I can't stand this much longer. My leg. Here we go. <laughs> By heck, thanks, Pat. No problem, Ted. Thank goodness I had Alf's new ladder with me. Aye. You'd better get inside before you catch cold. You're right, Pat. Bye. Uh, 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 and the Olympic champion Bill Thompson begins his final and surely gold medal winning run. Yahoo! Come on, Katie. We can beat him. Yeah! Watch out! It'll be okay. We've got a plan. Think of a plan. Um. Hold on. I'll go and get your mum. <laughs> That's Dad. Tom, Katie, my dad's here. He'll rescue you. Don't worry. Dad! Stop! What on earth? Stop! Julian, what's the matter? Tom and Katie, they're on the ice. Oh, no. Jess, you stay there. Meow. Mum! Mum! Help! Help! Tom! Katie! Don't worry. What are we going to do? It's too deep to wade out to them. And too cold to swim. Gosh. I know. Tom, Katie, see if you can grab the branch. Uh, 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 it's no good. We can't do it. What are we going to do? Meow. Meow. The ladder. Why didn't I think of it before? Hold on, you two. I'll be back soon. Here we go. My gum. Everything all right, but... Alf, quickly. The twins are in trouble on the ice. By heck. Ah! Oh, it's OK. Pat's back. Don't worry, you two. We'll soon have you off that ice. Now, I reckon that if we lay the ladder across the ice like this... Aye. And you act as an anchor at one end, like this. Right. Then I should be able to crawl across it 
and reach the twins. Be careful, Pat. Tom, Katie, I'm coming to get you now. Mm. <sighs> now then. Slowly. <sighs> All right. Now, Katie, you first. Just crawl back along the ladder. Come on, now. OK. Tom, I'll be back for you in a minute. Be brave. I will. That's it. Uh, Keep going. Just uh, look straight ahead. Uh, Mum! Oh, thank heavens. Hurry, Pad. Hurry. I'm coming, Tom. Keep calm. Oh. Now, Tom, do just what Katie did, and we'll be safe and sound in no time. I'm scared. You'll be fine. Trust me. Pat, help! Hurry, Tom. Keep going. My gum, Pat. That was close. Oh, thank you, Pat. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't been here. I'm glad I could help. Are you two OK? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Pat. You're more than welcome. Thank goodness we had your ladder, eh, Alf? Eh? I, I, I'm right. Glad you had it with you, Pat. Come on, you two. It's a hot bath and a warm drink by the fire for you. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. Everyone. Bye, you two. Bye, Bye Tom. Tom. Bye, Katie. Bye, Katie. Bye, Tom. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one day. Come on, Julian. You were great, Dad. Thank you, son. I'm glad Katie and Tom were all right. <laughs> yes, Jess. I'm tired, too. It's been a long day. Let's go home. Morning, Pat. Morning, Jess. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Chilly out there today. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, I'm afraid. You'll have to collect the rest of the post from the station. Now, Jay should be back from Pencaster with it by now. Jay, is everything all right? No, it's not all right. The rocket's frozen solid, and I haven't been able to get to Pancaster to collect the post today. I'm just trying to unstick the water pipe to get her going again. Hmm, looks like it's come unstuck all right. Oh, no! The Greendale rocket will never move now. Look at the car park, too. Oh, dear. All that water has frozen solid. <laughs> How am I going to get rid of all this ice? I don't know, Ajay. But now I haven't got much post to deliver, I'll get back as soon as I can and give you a hand. Thanks, Pat. Oh, this... this is slippy. Ooh, steady. Whoa! Hey! That was close. Meow. Careful, Jess. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Come on, Jess. We've got posts to deliver. Mira? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at school? The heating isn't working. 
Mr Pringle sent us all home until he can get it fixed. Oh, dear, poor Jeff. Mum, can we play outside? OK, but be careful because it's very icy out there. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you two. No school today. No, the heating's broken. Would you like a ride on our sledge, Pat? <laughs> Not today, thanks. You two have fun, though. Thanks. Come on. There you go, Julia. Oh, thanks, Pat. What's that you're doing? Oh, well, it's a, it's a bit slippy out here, so I'm sprinkling some grit on the path. It melts the ice. What a good idea. That's just what Ajay needs for the frozen car park. Well, I've got plenty to spare, Pat. You're welcome to take this sack and give it a try. Thanks, Julia. That's very kind of you. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. Meow. Careful on the path. I haven't gritted all of it yet. Whoops. I see what you mean. Gangway! <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, wow! Did you see Pat go? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Jess. Meow. Oh. Meow. Meow. It's just like a real ice ring. And it's brilliant for sliding, too. Watch this! Woohoo! Jeez on beam! <laughs> it's fantastic! My turn! Woo! <laughs> Come on, Mira! No! I'm going to dance on the ice like a real ice skater. That's oh. boring! Come on, Bill. Let's see who can slide the best. <laughs> Nice try, Mira. Thank you. But what you need are some ice skates. I used to have a couple of old pairs lying around somewhere. Ooh, can I try them, Dad? Hi. Why not? I'm not having much luck fixing the train. Why don't we both have a go? I'll see if I can find them. Thanks, Dad. Are you coming, Jess? Watch out, sheep. I've got letters to deliver. Ah. Ouch! Oh, dear. This ice is making things very tricky. I hope Ajay's OK at the station. Maybe these ice skates weren't such a good idea after all. Oh, come on, Dad. It'll be fun. Ouch! Ouch! Oops! Sorry, Dad. Oh, it's OK. Go on. Give them a whirl. <laughs> well done, Mira. You're doing great. Just takes practice, that's all. But I think I'll stick to driving trains. Oh. Watch out, Ajay! Hey. 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 hey! Watch out, lads! <laughs> Hello there, Ted. Whoa! What? Watch out! Ooh. Some post for you, Ted. By heck, but that were impressive. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm having a right job delivering the post with all this snow and ice about. Oh, well, you see, that's where my latest invention comes in handy. It's the Ted Glenn automatic de-icing machine. It melts all that snow and ice in a jiffy. 
Watch. All you have to do is point it at what you want to de-ice, like this. Wow, now that is impressive. Ajay could do with that to de-ice the Greendale rocket and the car park. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you two. Don't you want to try skating? No, this is much more fun. <laughs> I'll go and see if I can find something to slide on to make it faster. Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on, Bill. All proper ice skaters have skating partners. Nah, skating's for girls. Why? Cos boys can't do it. Can't, sir. Go on, then. Show me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, right, then. Hey, I can skate. See? I told you it was fun. <laughs> Look, I got these sacks from the post van on the train to slide on. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Come on, let's just try out those sacks. But I thought you were my skating partner. Hey! Oh. Hey, everybody. Come and get some nice hot chocolate. Yay! Hooray! Hooray! Brilliant! You're skating really well now, Mera. Bill, Julian, have you been skating too? No, we've been sliding. Oh, I see. Mum, Dad, will you come and watch me do my ice dance? as soon as you've finished your hot chocolate. I wonder where Ajay's got to. I don't know, but doesn't look like he's had much luck with this. Look at those icicles. Wait till I'm done with me machine. Let's try it on the rocket first, and then we can get cracking on the car park. Pat, how did you get rid of all those icicles? With Ted's new de-icing machine. What do you think? It's wonderful. Thank you, Pat. I'll de-ice the car park now. No! no! Stop! 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 What's wrong? We don't want you to melt the ice in the car park. Why not? It's our ice rink. Ice rink? Aye. They've been playing on the ice all day. Mira's even been practising an ice dance on skates. Well, now you're talking. I love a bit of ice skating, me. I didn't know you could ice skate, Ted. Me? Oh, no, I've got two left feet. I just like to watch. Oh, I really need someone to skate with me to do my special ice dance. Can you skate, Pat? No, sorry, Mira. I Pat, you can. You might not have had skates on, but you were doing a grand job on that ice earlier. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, please, Pat. All the proper ice skaters have partners to skate with. Go on, Pat. You'll be great. <sighs>
Ice Dome? champion. What? Boy, heck, Jess. Them's the best ice dancers I've ever seen. Meow. Thanks, Pat. You're a great ice dancer. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yes, thanks. But maybe I'll leave the skating to the real ice dancers like you from now on. Meow. Ah, thank you. I needed that. Thirsty work being a postman on a day like this. Now then, these are for the station cafe, and there's Dr Gilbertson's magazine to deliver. Right you are, Mrs Goggins. Are you going to the picnic this afternoon? At Ted Glenn's? I hope so, if I get this lot delivered in time. Good luck, Pat. Cheerio. Off we go, Jess. Meow. <laughs> Here's the post, Misha. Thank you, Pat. Have you got much more to deliver? Quite a lot. Poor Jess. <clears throat> it's too hot for him. Mmm, they look good. Pat, they're for the picnic at Ted Glenn's this afternoon. Come on then, Jess. The sooner we get these letters delivered, the sooner we'll be able to find a nice shady spot and relax at the picnic. <clears throat> <laughs> I think you're on your own today, Pat. Ah, well. Cheerio. Pat! Before you go, could you take this over to Dead Glen? He phoned this morning asking for sugar. What does he want all that for? He's built an ice cream making machine. He's promised all the children ice cream this afternoon. Ice cream? Hmm, that sounds good. No problem. Ted's house is next on my round. <whistles> That's it. Now then, let's put some mixture in and give it a test run. Now then, where's the lead? What's he doing? It's an ice cream maker. He's going to make us all ice cream. I love ice cream. What's your favourite flavour? I like chocolate. I like blackcurrant. Do you think it's ready yet? This should work. Just plug it in and switch. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you all right, Mr Glenn? My lad. Um, now to worry about. Be up and running in no time. Looks like we're going to have to wait a bit longer for the ice cream. Come on, let's go and see what other things we can find to put in it. Good idea. Hmm, electric's gone. Now what am I going to use to power it? Pat! Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Just the bloke I was hoping to see. Hello, Ted. Here's your sugar. How's the ice cream going? I've had a spot of bother with the electric. I reckon you can help. Of course. What do you want me to do? I fused the lights in the house so my power supply's broken. I thought we could use your van to power the ice cream maker. Well, I don't know. I've got to finish my deliveries. It won't take long. Oh, all right, then. Here you are. Thanks, Mrs Thompson. These will make great ice cream. Who's got ice cream? Ted Glenn's built an ice cream maker. We're collecting things to put in it for the picnic this afternoon. I know what's good in ice cream. Cherries. Reverend Tins has got a cherry tree in his garden. Uh, let's go and ask him if we can have some. Good idea. Bye, Bye. Mrs Thompson. Bye, Mum. Not 
That should do it. I'll go and start the van, then. Give me a shout when you're ready. Ready, Ted? Ready. The lid. Hang on, Pat. Stop the van a minute, will you? What was that, Ted? Shall I give it a bit more power? Big Pat, turn it off! What's the idea? Where did that come from? Sorry, Ted, I, I couldn't hear you with the engine on. Too much power, Pat. The ice cream's gone everywhere. I don't know, it's a... Go... Oh, heck. Using a dangerous machine close to a public highway. Obstructing an officer during his work. Throwing missiles at an officer of the law. It's a very serious... Mmm, strawberry. Mmm, uh, very serious. Uh, this, uh, won't do. Uh, won't do at all. Mmm, tasty. Strawberry ice cream, PC Selby. Ted's made an ice cream machine for the picnic. Butt's helping me to get it running. I can see that. His van was a bit too powerful for the job. I can see that as well. We'll have to try something else. I know. PC Selby's bicycle. You can't use that. That's an official vehicle, that is. You wouldn't want the children to go without ice cream, would you? Oh, they're all looking forward to it. It's the picnic in a few hours. Hmm. Here you are, my dear. Cherry ice cream, eh? Mmm, marvellous idea. Thank you, Reverend Timms. See you later. Walnuts are delicious in ice cream and highly nutritious, too. That's great. Thanks, Dr Gilbertson. Look, Mr Pringle gave me some toffees. Let's go and see what we can find in the cafe. Do you think the ice cream machine's ready yet? Blimey. Oh. Oh. This is hard work. Why don't one of you two have a go? It's not getting cold at all. We need more power. It's never going to be done at this rate. And it's perfect ice cream weather. Just look at that sun. The sun, that's it. Ted, have you still got those solar panels? Oh, they're out the back. Well, solar panels make electricity from the sun, don't they? We could use them to power the ice cream maker. Good idea, Pat. I wish I'd thought of that myself. Phew. So do I. What have you found, Mira? Bananas and chocolate. Brilliant. Everyone can have a different flavour now. What about Jess? Maybe we could get Ted to make some ice cream for him as well. Meow. I wonder what flavour he'd like. Maybe banana. Don't be silly. Cats don't like bananas. How about jelly? Meow. I know what he would like. Come on. Meow. That should do it. Let's go and test it out. What do you want them for? It's a uh, surprise. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. That's the last of the strawberries. Let's hope it works this time. How long does it take? About half an hour, I reckon. That'll give me just enough time to finish my deliveries. I'll give you a hand. What about the machine? Maybe PC Selby could be in charge. Well, I... It's cooler in here than outside on your bike. Um, I suppose I could keep an official eye on it. Uh, make sure no one steals the ice cream. <sighs> Everything in order. Maybe just a little rest. Forty winks.
Bye, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Finished. How are we doing for time? Grand. Ice cream should be ready when we get back. Mm. Mm. Scream! And next time it will be a parking ticket. I am. Oh no! Never mind. We can clear this up and start again. Let's get a move on then. It's not long till the picnic starts. We've got heaps of stuff. Yeah. We've got something for everyone. Meow. <laughs> That should definitely work this time. Now then, cream, sugar. Oh, no. What's wrong, Ted? I haven't got any more strawberries. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Mr Glenn. We've got loads of other ingredients. Like bananas. And cherries. And walnuts. By gum, I reckon you kids have just about saved the day. Right. Which flavour first? I like toffee myself. It's the only thing I really like. Mm. Banana and toffee, then. Let's do banana and toffee. Uh, banana and toffee first, please. Right you are. What's in here? No, Dad. That one's a surprise for someone very yeah. special. <laughs> Cherry flavoured. Delicious. Walnut and chocolate? Oh, Would you like to try some, Pat? Yeah. No, thank you, Jeff. I'm waiting for the special surprise flavour. You are, young man. Thanks. It's ready! <gasps> this is the one I wanted to taste. But, Dad! The special surprise one. <laughs> it's not meant for people, Dad. It's a special ice cream. The Jess. <laughs> Sardine flavour. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a letter? Yeah.